Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Channel, Shelly Dressel This meditation came at the perfect time. We have now become accustomed to the higher frequency in many different ways. This channel gives you a chance to experience these frequencies and learn how to work with them. In the beginning, the goddess speaks about the collective consciousness and people's empathic abilities. She states that everyone is empathic to a degree, it is about how much they pay attention to what is around them. The collective consciousness has undergone a massive transition over the past five to seven years and is much more in alignment with the higher fourth and fifth dimensions. The last equinox was the collapse of the third dimension, so that is no longer supported. We need to learn how to work with these energies so that they can support us. When in the all that is, we worked with our energies. This is a way to open to a new perception. We are able to understand the higher, light energy. The goddess asked us to put forth what we want to manifest. Even looking, and sensing it in this dimension is different. She then asked our soul to come in, as if separate from us. She also said we could address it as if it was God. We then asked for God to express our manifestation, saying a new way to view it, what to release, or where to look. From there, she had our soul talk to us. In this, it spoke about how our soul sees us and what we may need to know to live well. Some argued with the soul energy, others felt inadequate, and still others felt loved and supported. It is a beautiful amazing energy that you can experience for the conversation with your soul. Namasika, Venia Benya, I am the one, I am the whole I greet you, beloved family. I open up from my heart to yours. I open up to send my love to you while you are here in your everyday reality. You are all continuing to move through the manifestation of your life. You are continuing to move through the ascension of the consciousness on earth. As I look at the earth, and as each one of you feel it within and around you, you can feel the many, many, many layers of consciousness and awareness. The earth plane is one that has so many diverse levels of awareness that sometimes as one is moving through a transition you've become inundated with multiple different transitions that are also taking place, and it may or may not be directly related to you. To be human is to be empathic. Some of you are incredibly empathic and others of you may not consider yourself empathic, however you are. You are each sending out waves of energy. Sometimes it is blasting from your unconsciousness. Sometimes it is what you express through your words and your actions. Just as you are doing this so is everybody else around you. This is what creates your collective consciousness and that is the collection of vibrations and frequencies that all find a like level of awareness. The collective consciousness is currently vibrating at a level that one might say is between the fourth and fifth dimensions. The collective consciousness is very vast so there are parts of it that are vibrating in a solid fourth dimension and some that are vibrating at a fifth and sixth dimension, and that is what brings it upward until you have that which is the average. You can consider the collective consciousness a reflection of humanity, but it is one aspect. This that is the collective consciousness is frequently what is influencing you in your everyday life. For those times when you feel sad, but you don't know why. For those times when you might feel anxious, but you don't know why. For those times when you feel joyful, but you don't know why. That may all be what is around you in your atmosphere and sending out frequencies and waves. You can imagine how much that is able to change if you yourself begin to change your focused awareness. If you wake up one day feeling fine and then throughout the morning perhaps you begin to feel anxious or angry, consciously disconnect, release yourself from whatever it may be that is causing you to feel like that. Choose to send waves of love, compassion, balance anything like that, that may instead create a transition in the energies that are around you. You may go into work. You may have your family life. You may have your personal relationships and in all of these situations you can create a change, and that change will have an impact upon you and the others around you just as it will with the collective consciousness. 
it is important that I speak of this to you while you are still here in your full awareness. I now invite you to take a deep breath in when you breathe in you go down into your heart center, and within your heart center create a ball of light. You may envision it as if it moves in a circle. Here is where you can practice just sending love into this ball of light and you see it reflect, and most likely it expands as you do so. You take an aspect of that sending it down through your energy bodies. It goes down through your chakras. It goes down into the earth. Feel what it is to connect with Gaia. The more that you are able to anchor within the earth plane the greater your ability to expand your consciousness. Allow it to spread out in different directions, and then feel the pulsation of the earth. Feel as it grounds you in this now moment. You then allow that to come back up through your energy bodies. You have that grounding energy balancing within that ball of light. You send some more that goes up to your throat, your third eye, your head center, your crystalline, and then you send it all the way up until you link with your higher self. You may feel your energies expanding as you are here within this space. Look at this for what it is. Look around. If it is cluttered send the ball of energy through it, woo, and clear it out. Whenever you practice clearing your higher self like this you may have a moment in which there is nothing there and then that which is most important to you comes back within this space. It's almost as if it is waves, or there are little fingers, or there are little pockets that show you those things that you are seeking to manifest at this time. Just observe what this is for you. Send your consciousness further up. You follow that thread of energy that takes you directly into your soul. For some, it is as if you feel a transition when you get to that certain level. You may see what is a reflection of you. You may see this ball of energy and light. You may see perhaps multiple different lifetimes laid out in front of you. These are all different ways in which you align with your soul or your divinity. I the goddess walk in and amongst each one of you. I reach out to embrace you in this now moment and as our energies merge we shift as we move into the all that island. I invite you to take a moment and just perceive what is here within this space for you. As if you are opening up your senses do you see anything? Do you perhaps hear something? Do you feel or is there just an inner knowing of what is here for you? As you consciously open up the door expanding your senses, I invite you to just stay quietly within this space and you will begin to hear tones or a vibration that emanates from within. Consider for a moment when you were anchored on the earth and now consider when you are in the all that island. This is a place of creation where all very high, light vibrational frequencies are available. Sometimes it may be a way for you to create. Sometimes to give you information. But at this time it is becoming more and more important for you to activate your own senses. This is a place where you can practice. Consider if you will something that you would like to manifest. For some of you, as I said that, you immediately brought up what you've been seeking to have for a very long time. So, if this is you or if you are not really sure what came in just take a moment to clear out this space, poof. Let go what you may have wanted to manifest in the past. Do you have what you have wanted to manifest? This is why I'm asking you to release it because it is anchored or wrapped up in cords and energy of disappointment and frustration. So let it go. As you are here within this space open up all of your senses and allow your soul, or your divinity, or your God essence, howsoever you like to refer to this part of you, to walk in and come and sit with you. For some it may feel easier as if you're talking to God or perhaps one of the angels. Sometimes that one step of disconnect makes it a little bit easier to converse. However, I would like for you to know within every aspect of your being that you are actually speaking with your own soul, your own divinity. If you were to have a conversation with God what would be your first question? As you put that out there be open to receive the love, the vibration, the frequency, perhaps you're even hearing an answer to what you seek. If this is something that has come up for you before and there's disappointment as a part of it, then ask why hasn't it happened? Some of you will feel, or sense, or know the answer. 
As I observe you there are some of you that when the answer is coming towards you, you shut down, as if you don't want to hear the reason why something has not manifested in your life. So, if there is resistance within you that keeps you from understanding your life let that resistance come up within you, poof, and let it go. For so many this causes you to feel very vulnerable. Allow for love, compassion and support to flow directly within you if you feel vulnerable, or if you just wish that for whatever reason. I would now say to you to let us turn this around. Ask your divinity or ask God what they would like for you to know at this time. As that flows within and around you, you may or may not have a complete understanding but allow yourself to open knowing that more and more will come within. It makes me laugh a little bit because some of you when you ask to know what your soul wants you to know you argued with it. Why do you have to argue if you receive something that is loving and supportive for you? Okay so I'm going to clear out any resistance or any anxiety that you may have within you at this time, poof, let it go. Look around at how the all that is is transitioning. There is even more light. It may have some pink, green and iridescent sparkles in the energy. As if you are taking blinkers off of your eyes open to receive. Open to understand. As a human you have been taught from the time you were young limitation. You've been taught to look at the world through limitation, to look at yourself through limitation as a means of holding you back. In this now moment you are completely without any form of limitation and I ask you to again ask God or ask your soul to tell you what is most important for you to hear at this time. This time I could see that just about every single one of you are much more in alignment. You are receiving the messages. You are sending forth a new vibration and frequency. Look around. There is such beauty around you. As you feel this space become aware that this is what it is like to live or experience life in a higher frequency. It will not be exactly like this on the earth plane just yet, but you do have access to these lighter frequencies which in turn gives you an easier perspective of who you are as your soul essence. As if you reverse your focus look at you the human through the eyes of your soul. I noticed that some of you tried to look at yourself in the less than way that you normally do, but you cannot. With the eyes of your soul or your divinity, you look at the human and this life that you are currently experiencing and there is always love, compassion and support for anything that may be happening in your life. When you are doing well and you celebrate you can feel the celebration from your soul. When times are tough, and you struggle you may not feel it as well but your soul is always there. Be present. Be your soul. Be the true reflection of how you as your divinity see you as the human, and that you can take that insight and begin to look at yourself differently. You may need to stretch out the perception from your ego. But your love, your compassion, your awareness is always there within you. Allow it to grow. I invite you to have a sense of merging the consciousness that is reflected by you the human with the consciousness of your divinity. As these two blend together, there is a weaving of the energy. Allow your awareness to grow. In doing so accept the love, the compassion, the acceptance, the celebration for who you are in this lifetime. Take a moment and just let that wash over you. Consider your life. Consider whatever it was that was your intention or your desire to manifest, and see, is it time to let that go, or can you perhaps manifest it in a different way than was anticipated? I invite you to come back together as a group. Your energy is really expanded in this moment and that's okay because as you gather together as a group see how you are supporting one another. You are not just one light all by yourself. You are one light that merges with another and another and another, and you are all creating not only support for one another but something that transitions all that is around you. This is the collective consciousness of this experience. You may see a hologram of the earth that comes up within you as a group. Infuse within this hologram that collection of all the blend of your soul and your humanistic experience. Infuse the higher frequency of how it is to live your life, and as all of this moves within that hologram the hologram itself just becomes a pure ball of energy. There is an aspect that goes out into the universe where it anchors from within the universe. 
the remainder goes down how much does the earth plane. It moves through clearing out some of that lower frequency of the earth and infusing the higher frequency. It goes down into the center of the earth, anchoring, and then it shifts and moves upward. It moves out through every level of the earth plane. Your own energy comes back up from where you are anchored in the earth. This is also once again, with the clear intention, transitioning the collective consciousness to clear out what no longer serves humanity and to strengthen the higher frequency. Look around. As you are coming back more fully within your physical experience allow the remainder of your consciousness to come back down through your soul. It flows through your higher self. It flows back down through your energy bodies once more anchoring within you. As you perceive the collective consciousness, comparing it to what it was before, there is a noticeable difference. It is absolutely a higher frequency. You have cleared out the lower experiences and that lower anchoring energy, or vibration that no longer serves humanity. This is what allows you to live more fully in your everyday life. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Just as we experienced this meditation this evening you can in your everyday life create the vibration and that frequency that you seek to have. Even things that may seem impossible are all available to you as a potential. Go up to the all that is as often as you need to and have those conversations with your soul essence. Shift all of that focus down into your higher self so that it may be closer to you in your everyday life. Understand that you as a human are incredibly powerful. Your focus, your intention speak even more than the words that you speak. I would therefore invite you to be very clear that your intention moving forward in life is something that is filled with love, filled with potential, and filled with balance. Beloved, know that I am ever with you. And say